name is Mike, and I'm going to be here today telling you about an awesome feature that's in most digital cameras called white balance. So, what is white balance? It's a, uh, what it is, it's really the process of removing unrealistic color. Um, that's kind of the proper definition of it. Um, but really, you're you're basically telling the camera what is white, so that way you can process the other colors accurately. So the science of white balance. Did I say science? I did say science. So there is a little bit of science to it, um, but nothing too complicated. Um, it all kind of goes back to light bulbs. So white balance works based on the type of light you have available. So let's say I'm going to my bedroom to um, take uh, some photos, or I'm shooting a movie in a house, or anything like that. Um, you're going to have a different type of light than you are if you go outside. So the inside light is typically going to be more of a warm light. It's going to be that yellowish color. Um, and then you go outside, and this is going to be what we call daylight, and it's going to be more on the blue side. So the colors are actually rated on a scale, um, color temperature scale. Yes, color. Temperature. It's weird. <laughs> it's uh, rated by uh, degrees Kelvin. And uh, so your warmer light, like your, most of your indoor lights, is going to be lower on that Kelvin scale. So it's going to be like 1,000, 2,000, and so forth. Your more uh, white or blue lights, your outdoor light, is going to be further down on that scale. So you have 6,000, 5,000. Um, so if you ever go to the store and you're looking at the boxes, and which light bulb I want, all these boxes have numbers and letters on them, you're confused. Um, that's, that's kind of telling you, okay, the, the higher ones are going to be more blue or more white, and the lower ones are going to have that softer uh, glow that we're used to indoors. Um, so that is going to be kind of the science aspect of it. So when you're setting your white balance, it's very important to um, tell your camera, hey, what kind of light source am I in? Set your exposure settings. And, um, you know, if you don't know how to do your exposure, that's fine. It's not a problem. There are, uh, there are automatic settings for exposure as well. Um, you can definitely use those, and um, you can also do the white balance manually. So as to why we want to do a white balance manually is a uh, very good question. It's, um, it's all about the, uh, the, the camera is using a mixture of computers to determine what is white. So the camera is not like humans. You know, we can go outside and say, hey, that is a white car, or that is a white box. But the camera's kind of like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's white. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that's white, even though it may be what we consider not white, or uh, you know, some other variation of white eggshell, for example. Um, so doing a manual white balance is telling your camera, hey, this is white, and then adjust the other colors appropriately to compensate. Um, now that we know the true colors, so it's a very useful pick uh, feature. It allows you to take some pretty fantastic photos and videos. So we have two lights installed in this light fixture here. One in the bottom is going to be a yellowish hue, and the top one here is going to be for a uh, bluish hue or daylight color. So it's going to be on the higher end of the color spectrum. So looking at the lower one, it's going to be on the lower end of the color spectrum, more of a um, warm light. And here's a, again of both of them. You can see the shadows uh, casting on the wall, the blue and the yellowish color. So you can really see the importance of determining the uh, your light source when you're actually white balancing. So how do we white balance? So that is the next step, is how do we white balance, and then what do we use to white balance? So the good news is you don't have to be a professional to do this, and you don't have to use professional quality uh, equipment either. Um, if you're outdoors, all you gotta do is find anything that is white, or in your house, anything that's white. Um, I personally use this nice uh, bounce screen. Um, it's, uh, it's a white screen here. It's also got gray on the back, um, so you can also do what we call a gray balance um, if, you, uh, if you have like uh, no white anywhere in the room. Um, the brand of this is uh, Lastolite, and uh, it actually folds up, so it's a pretty cool thing. I highly recommend uh, one of those. They're very inexpensive, but you know, if you don't want to you know, buy one of these, have, um, you know, if you don't want to have a whole bunch of equipment to tout around, you've got your camera. Um, I've used kitchen plates. So you can definitely use a kitchen plate to white balance. It's not a problem. It's white. Um, I have used paper, just regular paper, no big deal. And uh, I was outside at my parents' house recently, and they have a uh, white 2x4. 
so I use that to uh, to do my white balance. And um, you know, as funny as this may seem, but you could even use your pet dog if he's white. So um, <laughs> that's actually a thing. You can do that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what you can do to white balance. So let's go ahead and dive into how to white balance a uh, Canon Rebel uh, T5i, um, also known as the 700D. Um, it's pretty easy to white balance, and uh, once you know how to white balance on this guy, you can pretty much white balance on any Canon uh, DSLR. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to do white balance on the uh, Canon Rebel T5i. And um, right now, as you can see, I have the camera focused in on a plate and uh, my white balance um, screen. So um, what I'm going to show you how to do is actually set that white balance. And this is going to be in kind of a um, semi-automatic mode. It's uh, called P. It'll do the automatic exposure for you. Um, this mode also works under M for manual, so you can actually access the white balance under that as well. So all you'll need to do is hit menu, hit menu. It's gonna pull up the menu screen, and um, for the sake of showing where it is, I'm gonna go back to the front. So this is the front page, the uh, very first camera on the left, and now we wanna to go to the second page for white balance. And it's gonna be three down. It's gonna say custom white balance. Select that, and then from here, you're gonna be able to select um, the image you wanna to use to configure your camera's white balance. So um, I'm just gonna show you a couple images I had. So this one particularly, <laughs> This is an image of a white dog, so I just wanted to kind of show you it does work. You can use a dog to white balance. So I'm going to go ahead and select that photo there. So we're just going to go in here and say select, and then hit OK. It says, all right, set that picture to white balance. So that's good. It's loaded in as our custom uh, picture. So we're going to hit the camera at the top corner here, and this goes back to live view. I'm going to hit that guy. And uh, notice again how the uh, the colors, everything of the, um, the 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 plate and everything here. So what we're going to do is go to the Q button over here on the right hand side. And it's going to allow us to go through the menus on Live View. So right now it's under Automatic White Balance. So this is what the camera is telling us is white. What we want to do is say, hey, you know what? We put in our own white balance. So we're going to hit that Q button, and then we're going to hit the little. Uh, what we call it like a daisy. I call it like a daisy little hair. So we're just gonna hit that one. That's gonna be putting in our white balance information in there. And just hit the Q button again. All those menus go away. And presto. Now we have our nice white plate. Isn't that cool? So now we actually have a true white balance on this camera. So just to kind of show you again what it looks like when the automatic settings are on. So we're just gonna go back to here and hit AWB, which stands for automatic white balance. Boom, look how yellow that is. That is what the camera thinks it's seeing. But in reality, it should be seeing this. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that was white balancing. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. You learned something about the art of white balancing a camera. Um, if you do own a Canon DSLR, hope that helped you out in uh, navigating some of the menus in finding how to white balance the camera. Um, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, let me know. I appreciate any feedback. Uh, I'd love to keep doing videos like this. So until next time, my name is Mike, and thanks again for watching.